Welcome to JV's 12 in the Morning Rants. I'm, of course, JV. Um, I got a bit of a random movie review for you. And um, I wasn't going to watch this movie, but one of the YouTubers that I watch, um, his name is Jeremy Johns. I saw a quick little glimpse of what he thought of this movie. And... I'll just say he ended up talking me into giving this movie a try, which is funny because I was originally not going to watch this film because I've seen some of the trailers and although visually look kind of cool, you know, for some reason the trailers just could not hook me in. It just couldn't get me invested. I don't know. To me, it just kind of looked generic. Um you know, action, sci-fi kind of stuff, but like I said, after I saw my boy Jeremy Johns um, review this thing, I was like, alright, I gotta give it a listen, and if you guys want to watch it too, of course you can watch it in theaters, or if you don't want to leave your house, it is streaming on HBO now, right now, at least until November 21st. So hopefully you see this before then. That way you can watch it in the comfort of your own home. In a short little description, at least the, the description they have for the movie on this. A mythical and emotionally charged epic superhero's journey. Dune is Academy Award winner. Uh, no, not winner. Nominee. And I actually looked up the pronunciation of the director's name. Denis Villeneuve. Right? I think that's about as close as I'm going to get. Because um, I was originally trying to see like how they he pronounces his last name. And I'm glad I looked it up. Because it's spelled Dennis. But in French-Canadian, I guess the S is silent. So... It's... Denis Villeneuve. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I hope I'm saying it right. I've never done French, except for the we we have some we like sh no we eat um sneers Paris. <laughs> that's my that's my um. French um, catalog right there. I just told you all in the span of five seconds. So, if I butchered that name... Oh, no. Whatever. Um, Academy Award nominee, Denis Villeneuve. Visually stunning, I agree. Adoption of Frank Herbert's similar best-selling title of the same name. You... If you've never heard of Doom, or you, even if you've never watched Doom, because there's like a 1980s film, which I've never seen, um, and then there's also the book, which your super nerdy friends have always told you that, dude, you gotta read this book, it's so fucking good, you gotta read this fucking book, man, and it's like, yeah, I will, but I never do. And after watching this first film, because even though Doom is, you know, it's just a book, um, one thing, the commercial, and I don't know why, what the marketing choice for this was, but, you know, this is part one of two, I believe, and... 
you could totally tell, you know, watching this first part, you can tell, like, this is just building up to the, you know, the actual climax. Because the way this movie ends, it doesn't feel like a climax, and it's not really supposed to. It's supposed to leave you like, ooh, it's going down. So, um, for someone, for someone like me who just watched this film, and I'm just going to say right now, really, really enjoyed this film, you know, now it's kind of in the hands of everybody else, you know, um, I'm just going to tell you guys right now, go and find this film, whether, um, I would actually encourage people to go watch this in theaters. In fact, after watching it here, I'm going to have to look at some theater times. I'm going to have to start looking through the theaters and seeing if I can find this movie because I want to see the second part of this movie. And I'm not, like I said, I've been kind of um, avoiding this movie because I just didn't feel interested. But now after I've seen it, it's like, I would like to know how it's doing, you know, if the second part is, you know... A, if we're looking good or if we're not looking so good, all I know is that I want to see a second part. I need a second part. I need to know. I mean, granted, if for some reason it doesn't fall through, if it like falls through their hands like, like sand, then I suppose I can always just buy the book. Which I might just buy the book anyway, because, you know, I would like to, you know, I would like to read this book, I guess. Like, you never know what parts of the book that didn't make it in the film. I mean, I just, you know, making it a two-parter, you know, obviously they didn't want to do the whole... Because one of the problems with uh, adapting a book into a movie is like... There, a book is so detailed and just, you know, packed. A book is packed. If you were to ever make a full-length movie out of every word in the book, it's a long-ass It's a long ass movie. And unless you're somebody that was, like, a huge fan of the book, I don't know, it's hard to keep people's buttons and seats. It's like, five hours? Well, the, I don't have five hours to waste. God damn. I can't do this. <laughs> so, I... They decided to split this movie into two. You know. I'm sure they still had to take some things out. Maybe they took some liberties here and there. Um, who knows? Like I said, after watching this film and, you know, hoping that they make a second... Like I said, I'm, I want to look up if the second part's going to come up. Maybe I'll do that in a little bit. But yeah, I would like to... I actually would like to read this book and see, you know, the ins and outs. And since I now have watched this first part, it'd be nice, to, you know, to read the book and, like, visually, you know... You know visually see like people like oh it's this guy and it's this girl and it's like all these people and like oh you know, I know all of them and then run into some newer people that would I probably wouldn't know unless the second part comes out it better come out god damn it, it better but whatever um this movie is starring um a shit ton of people Honestly, honestly, this is such a stat cast. Um, just from looking on the screen right now, you got um, Oscar Isaac, you got Jason Momoa, um, Josh Brolin, Zendaya, um, the like lead of the movie, Timothy something something, I can't remember his name, but... There's a tons and tons and tons and tons of more actors. This movie is stacked. Stacked. I would... I would 
tell you all of them, but I would also like you to watch the film and see if you can recognize recognize some of them. Um, especially one of them I did not recognize until I was looking up, you know, some of the cast members and thinking, oh my god, there's a lot of people in this. And then a certain actor, I'm like, oh, he's in this? Who's? No, that's not. Oh, that's totally fucking him. I would have never guessed that was him. But I guess it kind of looks and sounds like him. Um, honestly, I don't have a whole lot I want to say. Because half of my enjoyment of this film was not really knowing a whole lot about this film. I mean, it kind of says in the description, it's an, you know, it's a hero's tale. We all know, you know, the hero's tale. It's one of the most, um, overdone, um, story tropes. But, you know, granted that Dune is a pretty old book, you know, you'll, I'll I'll give it a pass. I, I will give it a pass. And you know what? This is one of the more better, well done, um, hero's journeys at least at this point that I've seen so far. I'm really enjoying hopefully one of two parts. I hope so. I'm going to keep saying that because I really need people to understand. I, If you watch this first part, you're going to tell yourself, I need number two. I need the full story here. Please give me... And it's really well acted, you know, it's funny, there's a, I guess there were some people saying that um, Jason Momoa was gonna kind of be uh, like a, a sore thumb or something like that in this cast, like, oh, I don't know if he fits, I don't know why, I'm assuming it's because he just kind of looks like Aquaman, and you know when someone's just a big enough star, it's hard to see them as any other character except that one character they're well known for. Well, that's kind of what we were saying about him before he did Aquaman. He's like, he just looks like the the fracky guy. Or from Game of Thrones. So like, there's no way I'm going to see him as any other character now. Everyone knows him. Anyways... Um, this is a really well-acted film. Um, the soundtrack is fucking baller, and I didn't know why, but I should have known after hearing the thunderous drums, but I ended up finding out that the score was done by Hans Zimmer himself. Hans Zimmer, that fucking guy. If you don't know who Hans Zimmer is, um, he's also the guy that does the music for, um... Man of Steel, that very epic um, Man of Steel um, theme song for Superman. And if it wasn't for the Christopher Reeve one, oh man. That is such a close second to my favorite super ha- Superman theme. And, oh, the music in here is great. Um, the, the sound is amazing. It's got Dolby, like, written all over it. Like, Dolby Vision. And, of course, this motherfucker's in 4K, at least on here. Um, And one thing I have to touch on, because it says in the description, like, a visually stunning. And, yes, this... Is a very visually stunning movie. Like this is. Granted I haven't seen a lot of films. This year. I'm not going to lie. But this is some of the best cinematography. I have seen. In a long time. There are so many shots. Where I will just look. And my like. Like my eyes widen. And my. You know I have to hold my jaw up. So it doesn't hit the table. Or some shit like that. It is just a beautifully shot sounding and overall well acted movie. 
And, you know, it's one of those, Dune was just one of those things where I had just enough people try to recommend the book to me growing up, where I was just, I was kind of like, eh, dude, whatever, it it can't be that great. You know, when things get a certain level of popularity, quote unquote, then it's just like, "Eh, dude, I don't. It might be, it, is it really that good though? And, you know, after watching this first part of the movie, it's like, alright, I'm the dumbass. I should have, I know I should have, I should have looked. I know I should have looked. Alright, I should have read the book a long ass time ago. That way, when the trailer came out, I could have been super uber excited about it and then, you know, completely geeked out by the time this freaking movie came out. Makes me wonder what the the eighties film is like. I wonder how eighties it is. Do I care enough to go check it out? It's probably going to be a really chopped down version, where it's just going to feel like a jumbled mess with that eighties pizzazz. I'm not sure if I'm ready or strong enough to go through that. I don't see. I can do it. Let me see. Well, since I got you guys on the horn, let me look up Dune Part 2. See. Director Talks Sequel. Will there be a Dune movie squeakquel? The fuck? Let me see. Let me see. Dune Part 2 is not... Conf- okay, let me go check this. I'm looking at this from Inverse. Boom. Dune Part 2. Release date, trailer, cast. Here's everything you need to know about the Dune sequel. Um, As you likely know from watching the movie, Dune Part 1 is only half of the whole story. Yeah. Adopted from Frank Miller's classic science fiction series, the first movie is just the beginning and builds to the story with the sequel in mind. Part one follows. Let me see. Uh, I'm not going to read all that. Like I said, I want you guys to watch the film. Now, the part one is out in the world. What is going to happen with part two? Here's everything we know about the sequel from its release date and possible part three. Oh, now see, I thought I was being told that it was going to be a two-parter. Possible. So that means they're really trying to, um, you know, make this. Warner Brothers has not yet greenlit part two. It is odd. For a studio and a director, including part one, in the title of the first Dune, when the sequel has not yet been confirmed. I mean, yeah, but they probably want to make sure that this first one does good. And which, that's probably why they called it Dune. So, get people invested enough, they're going to see it, and they're going to be, oh, this is obviously just one part of the film now we i have to see the next one i think they're just putting it as they don't want to put like part one to make people feel like well it's i can't you have to get you have to leave them with that sense of oh my god there's more i have to see more but if people already know that you know it's going to be the first part of three then people are just going to be like um i'm just going to wait till they all come out i think you know i think it's a more safer, um, I don't know, it's a risky move, but I think it can, in an interview with the Inverse, director said that he was standing with one foot in the air, waiting for the permission to make part two, so it sounds like he's just, he's just ready to pump it, and he's going, he's ready to go, it seems like the studio will We'll wait to see how Dune Part 2 performs in the... Yep, that's a... 
What did I just fucking say? I fucking knew it. And what streaming ratings it will be bringing in from HBO Max. Just like your boy right here. I already put it on my list. Where's like the little thumbs up? I want to thumb up you. <laughs> That's a phrasing. Uh, do we not have like thumbs up or shit like that? That's weird. I don't know. Anyways. Oh, look. You can see the cast down here. Let's see. Timothy. I'm not... I'm going to pronounce it and then I'm going to find out it's like, you know, German and I'm pronouncing it wrong. Let me see. Um, where was I? It seems the studio will... Oh, I was reading that part where the... There is also concern that the... That its same day streaming debut may hurt Dune's performance at the box office and... May sway Warner Brothers away from making a Dune sequel. Which is why I was telling you guys, like, go watch this movie in films. I mean, sh yes, they can see that it's, you know, trending on um, HBO Max. But for big, big movies like this, they won't see, like, the real money unless you go to the theaters. And I'm telling you guys, you have to go watch this movie in theaters. That's how they make their money. And another simple fact is that if you go to the theaters and you pay for the movie, um, that money that goes to the movie, none of that goes to the theater. Which is why when you go to the theater and you buy your popcorn, your drink, um, candy, whatever you made, a hot dog, a burger, whatever, um, that's how the theater makes their money. They make their money off the concession, which is why they're so fucking expensive. Which is also why they get super pissed off when people sneak shit in. Look, I understand that you gotta get pissy about that, but maybe lower the price just a tad bit so people don't feel like they have to be... I mean, they're not clutch, they're not stealing anything, they're just sneaking shit in. It's just candy and drinks. Just chip it down. Like, why would I buy, like, a $5 soda and popcorn, separately $5, when I can just, I don't know, go with a friend, we'll pick up, uh, like, three drinks for that price, and then, you know, whatever candy that we want for even cheaper. Let's, like, get a drink and a couple snacks for the same price as one of those items, and, you know, just... You know, that's why it's always nice to have girlfriends, because, you know, they always bring their purses, and they can just fucking stuff that shit. I mean, I could always just bring a backpack, but that's sketchy as fuck. <laughs> Different tangent going on here. I'm saying. The weeks following Dune Part 1's release will be crucial in determining what happens next for sci-fi movie franchise and well okay i think it's just gonna be redundant from here on out so so that's kind of cool there's a possible um speaking of which dune box office how are we doing Dune box office opening between thirty million and thirty-two million in the U.S. That's pretty fucking good. Let's see. Box office Dune tops Friday in the United States with seventeen point five million. This one's is probably a little bit more recent. Let me see. Dune and okay, so the total box office at this moment is one hundred forty-seven point two million dollars at this point. Uh, but how much did the movie cost to make? Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. So they're at 
147 maybe like 148 but the movie cost 165 million how long has this been out i mean they still got a lot of time to make money back but oh they're, they're a little behind at this point i'll tell you what i don't know i don't quite know the amount of money you have to make to make it a success but typically you want it needs to, you know, make money. It would be nice to get like a good uh, hundred million over what you got. You know, get a good good amount of money over the cost of making it. I would like to think so. I don't know. That's just that's just what I would like to think. Uh, but yeah, I think, um, my, my closing thoughts on this is that, um, I really, really enjoyed the film. I'm actually thinking about getting the book now. In fact, I'm, I'll probably see if it's on Audible. That way I don't have to read it. I can just have it read to me, but I don't know. As convenient as Audible is, I'll be honest, this... Being read a book is, you know, it's not the same. I feel like you miss a lot. You know, it's like when you, like, read something yourself compared to when someone's reading it to you. It's like you're listening to, like, a lot of it, but you're going to miss a few things because, you know... You know, it's like the difference between, you know, being told... To do something by somebody. Like this is how you do this. And you know actually doing it yourself. You know. Some things are going to. You know. You, it's, you, I hope you guys know what I'm saying. Because I can't for some reason. You know say it right now. But what I am saying is. I really like this film. If I had to give this. Um, a rating. Mmm. I'd say a fall, a solid four and a half out of five stars. Um, possibly, yeah, you know, four, yeah, you know, a solid four. I mean, maybe due time, I will lean more on um, four and a half. But you know, like I said, this is just initial reactions. Um, if I had to say there was any problems, you know half of the enjoyment of this film is like not knowing what's going to happen and you're just like invested in waiting to see what's going to happen. But I could see on repeat, repeat watch throughs. I could see how, you know, at points there's going to be a lot of piss break moments where it's just like, okay, yeah, the next thing's not going to happen for a little bit. So I can, I could take a tinkle and I'll be fine. But we will see. A lot of this is just, you know, me speculating. So I'm not sure if that's really going to be the case. But we will see. So, this movie is in... Uh, it still has a little bit of a hero's journey of itself. To, you know, make enough money so we can get this movie made. And get part two going. And, you know... From what I've seen... It's gotten some good ratings. If I were to look at um, doing one more time, where are you? There you are. Um, unlike Google or on IMDb, it's got about an eight point three out of ten, um, and eighty three percent on Rotten Tomatoes, and on Metacritic, it's got about a uh, seventy five, and Google likes about 83. It's like, yeah, it's, it's all about like the same area. So yeah, people, people are really liking this film from what I see. I know I said I was on closing thoughts, but then I divert other places. I know I'm bad, but for seriously, um, go watch this film. 
Um, unless you really can't, I highly encourage you to go watch this film in theaters. Sneak food in if you want, but, you know, if you want your theater to keep going, then you have to, you know, just buy, like, maybe a drink, a small popcorn or something. You know, just to keep your theater alive. Like, hey, we appreciate you. Just a little something something. Because, like I said, they only make their money off concession at the movie itself. That goes in the box office, which, you know, goes straight to the studios themselves. Just... Just from one bird to another. But... Uh, yeah. That's my um, thoughts on this movie that... Up until this morning, I didn't give two shits about one review from one of my go-to movie critics later. And not only did I give this movie a chance, but I actually found a movie that I really enjoyed. And possibly book. So, yeah. Um. That's a hell of a hero's journey in itself. But... I think that's all I gotta say for this. Thanks everybody for giving me a listen. Like I said, go, 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 go watch this film. You will not regret it. I thank you in advance. And, um, I hope to see y'all next time. But until then, y'all stay safe. And, of course, join the rant. I highly appreciate it. Laters. Laters.